Hi, welcome for our RTL Online Trainings and Placements in Oracle Cloud uh, Technologies. In this session, we are going for a second quiz in human capital management in the cloud environment. Let's start the quiz. We are going to have five questions in this. I'm going to give 10 to 20 seconds time for every question. You can prepare with your answer and you can cross check. Now, the first question is, in the below statements, which one is incorrect? I have given four statements here. Out of these four statements, which one is incorrect? Which statement is not correct that we have to identify? Okay, let's see. We'll wait for five seconds. And meanwhile, you can find the answer. And I'm going to explain the answer here. You can note it down. Yes. Now, if we look at here, the first statement, we cannot create business unit without a reference data set. This is correct statement because while creating the business unit, a reference data set field is mandatory. A reference data set field is mandatory. So we cannot create the business unit without reference data set. So this is the correct statement. We can define multiple legal entities within the same legislative data group. Yes, obviously when we are implementing human capital management for the client, we are going to have the LDZ for every country. For every country, one LDZ is mandatory. Within the legislative data group, we can have either one or multiple legal entities. Nothing but registered office, indirectly registered companies. This is also correct statement. And the Third one is without the job, we cannot we can define the position. The statement is without a job, we can define the position. It is not possible. This is incorrect because while creating the position, system will ask you first choose the business unit, then choose the department, then choose the job. Job is mandatory. So this is incorrect statement. And of course, we'll cross check the fourth one also. Business unit is mandatory while hiring employee. Obviously, when we are hiring an employee, system will ask us first organization as legal employer. After that, when we enter into the tab called employment information, there it will ask us which business unit you are hiring this employee. So it's a mandatory field over there. So here, third one is incorrect statement. So I'm going to click on this. Yes, this is correct answer. Okay, let's enter into the new question. Now, the second question is, what is TRU stands for? In human capital management, we'll see this TRU in first module, global HR module. What is mean by TRU? Is it a trade reporting unit? Or is it tax reporting unit? Or is it a tab resource unit? Or is it tracing resource unit? Which one? The TRU stands for what exactly in global HR? I say that it is uh, basically tax reporting unit. Once we implement a legal entity, legal employer, PSU, we are supposed to enable this TRU. Then we will be able to work with the payroll. Once our legal employer is enabled as a TRU, then only we'll be able to assign the payroll. So while hiring an employee, first the system will ask us, choose your TRU. Then it will ask us to choose your uh, payroll name. Right. So it's minded. So TRU stands for tax reporting unit. Now this is correct answer. Let's go to the next. Now the third question, which one is the social security number format? It's like national identification number. If we are hiring an employee for India, then generally here identification number is Aadhaar card. If you are hiring an employee for UK legislation, we'll find this uh, 
national identification number is NI, national identification number. For US, it will be SSN, social security number. So which format? So is it uh, first four digits, next two, next three, or first three digits, next two, and next one is four digits? Like which format is correct? So I'm going to choose the second one. This is the correct answer. First to three digits, iPhone two digits, iPhone four digits. That's the social security number. Now we are entering into the fourth question. Which task will be using to assign business unit to the legal entity? Obviously in global HR module, when we are working configuration of enterprise structure, we are going to associate our business unit to the legal entity. So what is the name of the task? Generally, they won't ask the what is the task name for job? What is the task name for location? What is the task name for position? They won't ask because those all are simple. Manage position, manage location, manage job. So this manage word we have to assign before the particular object. But when it comes for this particular one, little bit uh, name is different. What is the task name which we will use to assign the business units to the legal entity? Is it manage business unit set assignment or is it assign business unit business functions? In the name itself, we can find out the first task is manage business unit set assignment. It means we are assigning the set to the business unit. Set means reference data set. So this is not the task. And the second one is assign business unit business functions. This is the task name which we use to assign BU to the legal entity. Click on this. This is correct answer. Now, the last question, this is fifth one. We know that we have a value sets in global HR module. In the below names, of which one is not the value set? We got four values here. Out of these four values, which one is not the value set type? Is it table or is it view object? Or is it ADF controller or is it independent? Which one is not the value set? We know that value set is a part of our vision, not only in human capital management, we'll find it is in financial supply chain management in all the domains. We have different types of value sets. Now what the question here is, in the below four options, one is not related for value set type. What exactly that? So I'm selecting ADF controller. ADF controller is not the value set. We have different value sets. We have format only, table, independent, dependent, and we have view object and table value set. But we don't have something called ADF controller. This view object, of course, it's related for ADF only. ADF view object, but it's not the ADF controller. It's not the ADF controller. So that's about the second quiz. Uh, have a nice day. Let's uh, meet in the next quiz. Thank you.